Eating Disorders Info, a quick guide. You're watching this video because you're worried that someone you love has an eating disorder and you don't know what to do or where to turn or why this even happened. This video will help you discover the path to recovery. A PDF with all the links you need can be found at eatingdisorders.info. Eating disorders are complex and often misunderstood illnesses. They occur when many factors come together in a perfect storm. Eating disorders can feel very isolating, but we can connect you with people who truly understand, people who get it and can help. You can play a critical role in your loved one's recovery. As a family member, friend, or caregiver, you are an important resource. We encourage you to be part of the solution. But first, you'll need a few things to get you started. To get a clear picture of the problem, consult with your physician. Refer to the PDF at eatingdisorders.info for information about warning signs and where to call for advice. To access free treatment at an eating disorder program in Alberta, you will need a referral from your doctor. Again, all the relevant documents you'll need can be found on our PDF at eatingdisorders.info. Go to the doctor's appointment with your loved one for the initial assessment and referral. Denial of the problem is a common symptom of eating disorders, so don't be surprised or discouraged if your loved one is uncertain about seeking treatment. Meet with a team of experts who will work with you to determine the appropriate level of care that is needed. Treatment might be offered as an outpatient, day treatment, or inpatient. You can also explore private treatment options. Treatment is an individual process and will vary from person to person. Recovery from an eating disorder is rarely a straight line. It will require a lot of patience, perseverance, and there will likely be numerous bumps along the way. But no matter what detours or setbacks you may face, it's important to keep focused on the positive steps being taken and not to get disheartened by any stumbles. As the caregiver, you need to take care of yourself and build as many supports as possible on this journey. We've all heard the safety message on a plane to put on your own mask before you assist others. This is also good advice for people helping those with eating disorders. One of the best things you can do is to educate yourself about eating disorders by visiting reputable sources and websites. Consider attending a workshop or a support group for family members affected by eating disorders. Be sure to give yourself breaks, do things that bring you joy, connect with others, find time away from the eating disorder, and explore respite options. Eating disorders impact the whole family and take a tremendous toll on everyone. But always remember, recovery is possible. If you need more information, please contact us. We understand and we are here to help.